Locate your sample collection tube. The scan date and time appears on your certificate as your sample date. Don't do it too early if you need a validity period, for example, within 72 hours. Remove the sample collection tube cap and keep safe. Do not smoke, drink, eat, brush teeth or chew gum for at least 30 minutes before providing samples. This causes invalid results. Use a mirror if needed. Insert the swab into the back of your throat to touch one tonsil and don't touch your teeth, tongue or gums. If you have had your tonsils removed, just swab the back of your throat. Rub the fabric tip over your tonsil for 10 seconds in a swirling motion. Move the swab to the other tonsil and repeat. Remove the swab from your throat. Put the same end of the swab gently into one nostril until you feel slight resistance, about 2.5 centimeters in. Rotate the shaft five times, ensuring the swab tip is in contact with the nasal wall. Remove, ensuring the tip of the swab does not come into contact with any surfaces, immediately placing it back in the sample collection tube. Place the fabric tip facing down into the bottom of the collection tube. Place the cap back on securely. Invert the sample collection tube five to 10 times and ensure that no liquid leaks. Do not ingest the hazardous liquid inside the sample collection tube. If you get it on your hands or skin, ensure you wash them thoroughly. Your sample collection tube needs to be packaged according to regulations for safe transit. Place the sample collection tube and absorbent pad inside the biohazard bag and seal.